All right, we've been talking about um, percentages in class, so let's let's take this to a different level here, and let's talk about something that I think all of us can relate to, and we'll talk about um, money and how much money we have and how much money is in our bank account. So that's where this idea of interest is going to come for, and we're going to talk about simple interest. This is like the basic introduction to interest. Um, this isn't typically how interest works in real life, but if you understand this, it makes uh, real life interest a little bit more... Um, manageable. So let's go ahead and first there's some vocab that we need to talk about. The, um, we need to talk about the actual word of in interest, uh, principal, annual interest rate, simple interest, and then finally our formula. So what I'd like you to do first is I'd like you to pause the video, write all of this down, and then uh, when you're done writing it, play the video and I will go ahead and sort of talk through each one of these uh, words. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so hopefully you're done. All right. Let's look at each of these. First, interest, okay? Interest is the amount of money that is earned or paid for for the use of money. So um, if you are going to, let's say, loan someone money, um, typically in uh, Western society, we charge a fee for that. So if I were to loan somebody, you know, $100 for a little while, then I would expect them to pay me back a little bit more than $100 or whatever interest rate I <clears throat> decide on there. Um, another, th the way you see it more often than not is um, if you take out a loan. So for instance, if you want to buy a house or buy a car, you borrow the money from a bank and the bank or will charge you interest. So they'll charge you uh, like a monthly or a yearly fee in order for you to borrow that money. Um, you also earn interest when you put money into a bank account. So if you p put money into like a savings account, the bank will actually pay you money to hold your money. And we'll talk more about that in class, about why the banks would do that. Um, but that'll be more of something in class. Okay, let's take a look at principal. So the principal is the starting amount, okay? It's if in this previous example, if I borrowed $100, um, the principal will be $100. Um, the amount of money that I pay back or the amount of money that is um, owed at the end, that's different, okay? But the principal is the starting amount. Um, another idea of principal is if I start a bank account with $200, when I put $200 into the bank account, that's the principal, okay? And you're, that's the the amount of money that you're going to sort of be working on. Uh, annual interest rate, okay? So this is the amount of uh, earned on or paid in a year, okay? And so this is key. Annual, this word annual, this means year, okay? Yearly, and then interest rate. And the rate we're going to use is going to be a percent. So you pay kind of like you do with taxes. You pay a percent and you'll pay a, um, you'll, you'll pay or you'll receive, earn, um, like a certain amount per hundred dollars or per hundred cents you have, okay? And again, we'll talk more about this. And then finally, we have simple interest, okay? And this is the amount that is earned or paid on the principal, and it's sort of done per year, all right? There's another idea that's more complicated, and it's more realistic. It's called compound interest, but <clears throat> we'll get to that much later, okay? So here's what we're going to do. It's a simple interest formula, okay? So in here, I is the interest, okay? This is the amount of money that I make, okay, or that I have to pay, and that's going to be equal to principal, the starting amount, and then we're going to multiply that by the, the interest rate or our percent, and then we're going to multiply that times time, okay? Now, it's very important that you understand here, T, time, because we're talking about annual, is going to be measured in years. So if I am given... Uh, a time period in months that I need to change it into years, okay? So T always has to be in years. I, if I were you, I would make a note, put somewhere in your notes, like big, bold, time must be in years, okay? It's the number one mistake students make on this, okay? They forget that annual means yearly, and when I say something like how much interest will you make on six months, people will plug in six for T. When it's not, it should be one half, okay? Because six months is half of a year, not six years. Okay, got that out. All right, let's take a look. Sometimes it makes more sense when you actually have uh, a problem. So here we go. A $1,000 bond earns 6% simple annual interest. What is the interest earned after four years? Okay, so let's first, let's plug in, let's write our equation, okay? So we have our interest is what we're trying to find, okay? And that's going to be equal to, well, let's see, what do I have here? I think I might actually have the equation. Yes, I do. Okay, so interest is equal to um, principal times rate times time, okay? So... 
uh, in this one. Okay, a thousand dollar bond. Okay, is this going to be my starting amount? In this case, it is. Okay, a bond is sort of like a loan that you give to a governmental institution or a company. Okay, um, and typically what happens is it's yeah, you're just paying, it's a loan essentially. Okay, so you're loaning, you know, like the city of Niles might need money to build um, a new, like, inc the, maybe they're building a new police station or something. And so what they'll do is they'll sell bonds in order to raise money in order to pay the, for the police station. Okay, so let's say uh, the interest here, we don't know what the interest is, okay, because they're saying here, they're saying what is the interest. So in this case, we don't know the interest. Okay, so we'll keep it as capital I. The principal in this case is $1,000, okay? So I'm going to put all of these in parentheses, okay? Rate. Now this is a percent. It's times 6%, all right? And then time, my time, four years. And again, make sure it's in years. Years, 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 years. Make sure it's in years. So in this case, it would be times four. Okay, now let's go ahead and we're going to sort of simplify this. So let's say 1,000. Okay, now this is a regular number. Four is a regular number. Six is in a percent. So what I need to do here is I need to change that from a percent and into a decimal. Okay, so this is going to be 0 0.06. Okay, all right. And what this means is you earn, okay, for every $100 or let's say for every, yeah, well, what it says here is for every hundred dollars you um, you have in there, you're going to make an extra six dollars per year. Okay, per year per hundred dollars. Does that make sense? Okay, that's what the percent is. For every one hundred, you're going to make six every year. Okay, and in this case, you're turning it into a decimal, so you're saying for every one dollar. Okay, or for every one hundred pennies, I'm going to make six cents. Okay, so. Now I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and multiply. And so we'll say, okay, well, $1,000, okay, and this 6%, so six times 0 0.06 times 4, it's going to be 0 0.24, okay? And what I'm going to end up with here is over the course of, of um, four years, I'm going to get another $240 on my investment. All right, let's take another example. We're going to find the interest earned after two years on $600 if the interest rate is 7%. Okay, so let's start off with putting in the equation. Again, the equation is the interest is equal to the principal times the rate times the time. Okay, so my interest in this case, that's what I'm trying to find, right? Would it find the interest? Okay, earned after two years, so I know that this is going to be time. Okay, T is time. My, this is going to be rate, okay? This is going to go in for R. And then $600, okay, on $600, is that's going to be my principal, okay? That's the amount I'm starting with. So we start with $600. We multiply it by the percent rate is 7%. And we multiply that times the time, which is two years. So my interest is going to be equal to $600, okay? And that means I'm going to make 7% or 0 0.07 times 2, all right, and then we'll say that's going to be equal to 600 times 0 0.14, all right. So what that means is I'm going to make 14 cents for every $1. So let's see, uh, 600 times 14, let's, this is where, I'm going to use a calculator. Uh, so I'm going to do 600 times 0 0.14, what does that equal? $84. Okay, so my interest in this case is going to be equal to $84. Okay, that's how much extra money I'm going to make if I have a 7% interest rate. Okay, and I have it for two years. I'm going to make an extra $84. Okay, two years later, I'll have $84 more than what I started with. All right, let's try one more here. Let's find the missing amount. If the principal is $1,000, the rate is 2.5%, and my time is ten, two years, why don't you go ahead and you try to solve this problem? So go ahead and press pause, and you try to solve it. All right, let's check it out. If I have interest is equal to principal times rate times time, my interest is going to be equal to 1,000 times 2.5%. Times two, 
Okay, so I'm going to get interest is equal to 1,000 times 2.5%, right? 2.5% is going to be 0 0.025 times 2. That's going to be equal to 1,000 times 0 0.05. And then interest is going to be equal to, here it's going to be equal to $50, okay? So I'm going to make $50 in two years. Okay, hopefully you have a decent idea of how to do this. Bring your notes to class tomorrow. It will go, uh, uh, I will check them, give you credit, and we'll do some more practice with this. Okay, good luck.